So here we are with Dan to talk a bit more about some HCI. And today we're going to be talking about HCI and some of the HCI principles. Fitz Law and the use of Fitz colour. Law. Yeah. Um, well, shall I start with Fitz Law or the colour? Fitz Law, Fitz I think would be good. Yeah. Well, Fitz Law, it's all about how people interact, how people interact with how they see the mouse cursor on the screen or mm. interact with moving things on the screen, what their perception is of it, um, and stuff like that. And mm. presented some papers, um, and they had loads and loads of uh, maths, well, lots of maths things in it, mm. but it was all about the trajectory of a mouse, how far things are away to people to click on, and, well, not back then, but how far things are away and how much effort it takes to actually get to this thing, and if it was closer, it'd be a lot easier to access. Um, in HCI with computers, um, Fitz Law can apply to say things on a computer screen. If, for example, on a website there's buttons and the area you can actually click on, if it's just the word, then it's a bit more difficult to click on. But if it's the entire button that you can click on, it makes it easy to access and people will be attracted to things like that. There was a time early in web design, you know, when people just used to have hyperlinks and they used to put dummy buttons around as graphics yeah. which weren't clickable <laughs> no, yeah. and, it, and it, you're absolutely right it yeah. was confusing and yeah. bad and poor you know you're trying to click on the button and just yeah. nothing yeah. happened but no. now yeah and the same with numbers like page one page two at the bottom they'll just be the number you can click on mm. and it's, sometimes it's a bit difficult you end up clicking on the wrong thing yeah mm. um another example uh kde which I think is a version of linux is that it's right? a linux linux interface linux yeah, interface, yeah. Um, that it's a good example of good use, good use of Fitz Law, good well, implementation or whichever. Mm, yeah. um, all the buttons, the, the, big bu the buttons are really big, it makes it easier for people to click on. There's, um, they don't have things cluttered all over your desktop, there's just nothing on the desktop. Um, well, like I said, the buttons in the corner, like the closed buttons on Windows, they're all really squished together. Mm. Sometimes you end up closing something if you want to minimise it. Mm. But with other operating systems like Linux, Mm. All the buttons will be big in the corner, they'll be spaced out. Mm. Good. Uh, yeah. That's excellent. Okay, so tell us then a bit about colour. Oh, colour. Yeah. Uh, colour psychology as well. Um, mm. Well, we can use Facebook as an example. Uh, mm. So if you go on Facebook and it's blue and white colours, it's all blue and white, it's calming colour. Well, blue and white tends to represent calm, calming, mm. soothing colours, make you feel at home, make you feel like you're in a safe place. Mm. Um, like, like it's a social networking site, you're feel good, you'd mm. feel happy around your friends, you'd feel, it, mm. Facebook tries to sort of mess with your mind with the colours and make you feel like you are actually with your friends when you're online. Right, okay. Um, other examples like red, yellow, they're bright, vibrant colours, they attract people, they stick out, and for example like the McDonald's logo and the Burger King logo, and even mm. KFC that has red and white, they stick mm. out and it, they do that to attract people. Mm. So it grabs your attention. Yeah. Can you good. think of what sort of websites you might want to use those sort of colours on? Um, like I said, yeah. Um, well, MSN uses well white, just the white mm. background. Mm. And that's just a plain. But where might you want to use? You talk about the reds and the yellows and the oranges. Where? What sort of website might you want to use those on? Because you mentioned like blues calming for Facebook. Well, blues calming. So that's Facebook. kind of relaxing. Mm. Now, where might you want to use the, the brighter colours? Do you think? Well, one thought that came to mind was something like a, a, a travel company. Oh yeah, travel companies, they've got bright colours. Some travel company logos do have weird fancy yeah. colours on them. Yeah, what would be the advantage of that, do you think, for them? Um, well, if they're promoting a certain place to visit, mm -hmm. they could use fancy colours, the bright, bright colours on that, and mm -hmm. people would see it and think, ooh, that's a good offer. Or do you think that those colours, though, remind people of, of kind of... of Places in the world. Warm, happy yeah. times oh, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, they could represent warmer colours. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, they could attract the yeah, mm. warmer places, warmer colours. Mm. It's the opposite of, well, not the opposite, but of the calming, soothing. It's a similar thing. But okay, so as well as the colour psychology then, can you think about how we might use warm and cooler colours to help with people's perceptions of things? Do you know anything about how that might be used? Mm. Oh, you mean like, uh, red and yellow colours can <coughs> often, well, the scene is like angry or can be seen as angry colours. They can, but I'm, I'm thinking more in terms of now if you've got, a, if say you've got a website design or any kind of design really, and you're using warm colours like reds and yellows and cooler colours, 
what together? What what would be the impact of that? Oh, some colours some colours do complement other colours. Mm. Um, What I was really thinking, well, it doesn't, doesn't matter, it's not really important mm. but for this, but just for your, your kind of information, is the idea that the warm colours stand out more. Mm. So if you want to draw somebody's attention to so a particular part, on a page, warm colour on a blue, colour yeah. stick out, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like, yeah, on the travel website, it could be mm. soothing colours, but mm. if there's something they're trying to promote, or if anything, exactly. on any website they're trying yeah. to promote, yeah. they could use just like one red box, like, yeah. like here, yeah. <laughs> like for like, uh, you see pop ups that you get, yeah. they have the crazy flashing mm. epileptic thing, mm. craziness, colours mm. flashing all over the place quicker. Yeah. But yeah, it's all attention grabbing. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's excellent. Sweet.